What's up there, YouTube friends? It's Grumpy Gamer Dad, and today is February 8th. It's been a while since we've uh, been able to hang out, but I have more videos coming, so please do not panic. So today was a special event at the Disney Store. It was also on ShopDisney.com. I haven't been on social media, so I don't know how well that went. These types of events are sometimes hit and miss online. So it was a special key released today and it was in celebration of Minnie Mouse. I know. It, Donald's already gotten his for his 85th anniversary. Mickey got his. Minnie's finally getting her due. Minnie needs some love too. Why did it take so long? What's going on? She's been around for 92 years. What's up with that? Huh? Someone tell me. I want to know. So uh, I'm just going to dive in and show you the key here. I'm not sure if that's backwards. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I don't know. Uh, I like this one. It's got some heft to it. The quality was a lot better here, and we'll get a close-up. Uh, the key was free, air quotes, uh, with the purchase of $15 or more. That's why I say free in the air quotes, because you have to buy something, but it is the gift with purchase. We can't call it a free gift with purchase, right? All right, here's a closer look at that Minnie Mouse uh key from the release this morning. Starting with the D, you can see it's got the signature red and white polka dots of Minnie Mouse. The middle here has the Minnie Mouse signature bow. And then the key portion itself has, of course, the castle in yellow and then the polka dots. I have to say that compared to the Mickey Mouse key from 2018, the quality is a lot better. I'm just saying, if you're going to charge $15 to be able to buy it, the quality of these keys should be a little bit better, and it looks like they hit the mark with the Minnie Mouse ones. There weren't a whole lot of people there. I was shocked because typically on a key release like this, you'll have 100, 200 people there, um, and there's usually only about 100 keys available. When they handed out the numbers, uh, they came back, and they were only at, like, number 73 or 74. I don't know why. I, I dig this key. I like the tag. She's got some sass. She's definitely got some flair. Um, give Minnie some love, huh? So, like I said, it was a gift with purchase, and I had to make a, a purchase of over $15. So I found these. I figure I might as well just finish off this video with some mystery pins. These are Disney VHS mystery pins. They're the VHS covers from the Disney movies in the 90s. Uh, everybody remembers those big, thick clamshells that were bigger than all the other movies in your your, VC, your your VHS library, and so you had to have a special spot for them. These were big in the early 90s when, when VC, what's a VCR? What's VHS? Uh, kids today, they're like, I don't even use Blu-ray anymore. What the heck are you talking about, Doomer? I got four of these. We're going to live open them. There's only six pins in the series. So if I bought four, and as long as I don't get any duplicates, I'm like, what, 66% done. So the mystery boxes were $9.99. They're open edition. So if you have a Disney Visa card, a Chase Disney Visa card, you get the 10%. Real quick, you can see that this is the, the, the ones that they're releasing anyway. Little Mermaid, Lilo, and Stitch. Nightmare Before Christmas, which I really kind of like, and Toy Story, and then the two mysteries here. Here we go. That's a big bag. Uh, oh, it's a big, big pen, too. Pen. Oh, cool. So the first one up is Lilo and Stitch. Does it open? It's not hinged. So it's just Lilo and Stitch. It's a very thick pen, though. It's about a almost a half inch thick. Um, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if it opened, but I, I get it. Here's a closer look at that first uh, VHS mystery pin. This is Lilo and Stitch. Uh, I guess it. I never saw this movie until recently, so I guess that's what the the VHS 
clamshell look like? I don't remember. All right, so we're going to open the second box from our VHS pin set here. Oh, cool. Okay, so this this is our second pin, and it's uh, the Little Mermaid here. I know this clamshell. <laughs> in fact, it was infamous back in the 90s. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. You got Eric and Ariel, Flounder, Ursula, and the Trident in the Kingdom. Really cool. All right, let's take a look at the fourth, or the, I'm sorry, the third box here. Oh. Oh, hey, it's one of the mystery mysteries. It's one of the chases. Uh, so Lilo and Stitch, Little Mermaid, Toy Story, and Nightmare Before Christmas are the fourth that they advertise. Emperor's New Groove is one of the, the two mysteries. So that's a cool haul. And here's a closer look at that Emperor's New Groove uh, VHS clamshell pin. Um, this one, like Lilo and Stitch, I actually didn't watch until I was an adult. And... Uh, I saw it streaming, so I, I never actually saw the cover of this. All right, and let's open up the fourth and final box here. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Beauty and the Beast, the other mystery. So, these two, Beauty and the Beast and Emperor's New Groove. Um, I got the other mystery, so the only two I need our Toy Story and uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's take a look at that. Now, I know at one point this movie on VHS was in my collection somehow. Probably a girlfriend. You never know. All right, so there's the collection thus far. Uh, four pins purchased. Four pins are all unique, no duplicates. Uh, I, and I even got, while they're all mystery pins, I got the two mystery-er pins. <laughs> the next two will probably be the hardest to find. I have to say, I'm digging these mystery pins. Anyway, that is all the time I have. Uh, more content to come, more videos to come. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, at GrumpyGamerDad. Until next time, this is GrumpyGamerDad saying, stick around for more Disney pins. Oh, and there's bad dad jokes after the end credits. All right, so bad dad jokes. I got a few choice gems for you today. First up, where do snowmen keep their money? In snowbanks. Which U.S. state has the smallest soft drinks? Minnesota. Why did the clown quit his job at the circus? He broke his funny bone. Aww. There you go. Have a good one.